been paying for us, Tigers. Today's August 30th, 2018. It's, it's thrilling, thrilling Thursday. Thursday. My name is Julia Burns, broadcast from WPFE. And I am Kylie Jordan. We are from Miss McNeil, fifth grade class. Thanks for tuning in. It's a new day, Tigers. Let's take a moment to reflect on positive thoughts. Please stand and raise your right hand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On Thursday, August 30th, we're having fish nuggets, hamburgers, spinach dip with tortilla chips, and tater bites. Level up, 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 this week's AR Spotlight is on Miss McNeil's fifth grade class. Not only do they have AR points on the scoreboard, but they have an average of 93.1%. Way to go, Miss McNeil's class. This shoot shout out is just for you. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another week at the greatest school on earth. I just have a few announcements for you. First of all, we have these black t-shirts. They're the greatest show on earth t-shirts. Guess what, boys and girls? You can have one for only $10. So you have to bring your money in, tell your parents, pre-orders only. That means you can't wait for them to come in and then pay your $10. You gotta bring your $10 in right now. If you want a shirt, tell your mama, your daddy, your grandmama. If they want one, it's $15 for them. The greatest show on earth t-shirts. Make sure you remind your parents. Also, boys and girls, when you get sick and you don't feel well, don't you want us to be able to call your parents? Remind your mom and dad, say, mom, I need my clinic card. I need my emergency form. It's a green form. I need to bring it back because if I don't, what if I get sick? How am I going to find you? So make sure clinic cards and your green emergency forms bug your parents until they give them back to you. Also, boys and girls, remember, wear those uniforms. You get dojo points every single day if you wear your uniforms. Teachers, please make sure you're keeping up with your uniform chart. Boys and girls, when I walk down that hall, I'm going to be checking on that chart who is wearing their uniforms every single day. All right, Friday is fun day. First, we have the golden ticket, the golden ticket. You know what that is? If you come to school every single day this month. Remember, boys and girls, we had a huge pet rally about the five below club. If you miss more than five days of school, you know you can't come to that big carnival we're having at the end of the year. Golden ticket drawing on Friday. And guess what else is on Friday? Class dojo treats. If you have enough dojo points, you have a surprise coming from you on Friday. How do I get dojo points? You have to exhibit positive behavior. My question to you, boys and girls, is do you know the Peyton Roar rules? I may stop and ask you because that's the only way you earn your dojo points. All right, boys and girls, my favorite part books, books, books. And the books that I'm going to talk about today are only $1. If you bring in $1 to Miss Austin, you can have these books. The first one is, there was an old lady who swallowed a bat. Do y'all remember that? There used to be when I was a little girl, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. I guess she'll die. Well, this one is, she swallowed a bat. I can't wait to see what happens to her. $1. What's your favorite food, boys and girls? Well, for John, 
His favorite food is chocolate. He doesn't care what else he eats. He doesn't care if his mama is mad, his teachers are mad. All he wants is chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Well, one day a new store opens and he goes in there and he gets one of their best chocolate treats. I don't know what happened, boys and girls. I didn't read the end, but John is starting to think, maybe too much chocolate is a bad thing. Come and tell me what happened to John. And the last one is Stink, Hamlet and Cheese. Look at Stink. Well, Stink has some friends, Webster and Sophie, and they go off for summer break. And Stink is all alone. Well, Sophie calls him and says, hey, Stink, you need to come to this Shakespeare camp because we're going to be putting on this huge play. So Stink was like, I can do that. So he goes to the camp. He tries out for the part. And guess what? The little boy who's always taking everything he wants, he's there trying out for the, for the same part. Will Stink get the part in the Shakespeare play? What's going to happen at summer camp? Will Stink come out victorious? I can't wait. Come and get me. Boys and girls, these three books, they're only a dollar each, boys and girls. Bring your money in because remember, reading is our superpower. And even though we haven't had our AR kickoff yet, boys and girls, we are already watching those AR points. You have to read those books. You have to take your AR quizzes and you have to make at least an 80%. So I need you to read, read, read. Boys and girls, on this announcement, every, every week we're going to have five new words. This week, it's accomplish, integrate. Boys and girls, I need you to read them. They're going to be on our big yellow word wall in the comments area. If you know what a word means, you stop and let me know. Ms. Gunner may give you a treat. Boys and girls, I love you. You can do anything you put your mind to. Let's make it a great day the Peyton way.